Um, brothers and sisters, we are going live now on Facebook and we are going to talk about who is Shaitan. So I'm waiting for um, some guests, inshallah, to join us and we start the, the stream. <clears throat> Hello, Salam Alaikum. Uh, Brother Said, uh, do you hear me? Hello, yes, I can hear you. Yeah, Salam uh, Alaikum. Salam Alaikum. Alaikum uh, Salam. Sorry, uh, sorry. I just uh, have some kind of technical difficulties. I was thinking that it is not, uh, I was thinking it is like a one way live stream so i'm just watching it uh, by my phone all right no problem you can you can um uh, stop your camera if you would like. or you would like to be visible yes how okay you? yeah i'm doing fine how about you thanks thanks for yeah. your very fruitful and constructive channel i'm from iran and it yes. seems that you are iranian too. Uh, yes i'm also iranian <laughs> okay. so I'm like, sister, sister Inga, how are you inshallah yeah, I'm good. fine. Thank you very much. Uh, Inga is also uh, live now. How are you, Inshallah? Very good. Yeah, Alhamdulillah, I'm also good. I also thought it's uh, only you on the live stream, so I was a bit shocked to to be like. No, no, no. Uh, actually, like, uh, I always prefer that uh, you know talk. I talk to somebody, and yeah. uh, yes, without um, people, it's a little bit difficult to concentrate and then talk. So. Yeah. Uh, and there was a sister as well from Indonesia uh, would like to uh, that she join us too. But anyway, whenever she would like to ask question, um, that would be great. Yeah, I, I, I will start to say that I'm, I'm a former uh, atheist. And um, <clears throat> at the age of 25, I started to think uh, if God exists or doesn't exist. And after a few days, I decided that God doesn't exist because of lack of knowledge. And uh, later, uh, when in life I uh, got more knowledge and experiences, uh, then I realized that I was wrong. And it's a little bit long um, history. But um, uh, I would like to say that uh, I didn't convert to Islam just because God exists. Uh, I converted to Islam because I found the solution to all our problems in Islam. And that's what we are going to talk about it today. And. Uh, um, this is uh, 
something that unfortunately um, majority of uh, fellow Muslims uh, haven't understood it yet. And uh, even last night I was, um, okay, the sister is, uh, let me see. Somebody is entering, but the uh, device not connected. Etha. Etha uh, is, um, the device is not connected, it says. Let me see. All right. So maybe you can go out and come back again, Etha. All right, anyway. Uh, <clears throat> I was saying that uh, last night I also uh, was uh, I was having a, a debate with uh, some fellow Muslims and um, I have had uh, this debate with many, many Muslims and unfortunately they they haven't realized that um, uh, what is Islam's solution to our problems. Uh, the, the, the problem, uh, according to Abrahamic religion uh, and Islam, is the source of all problems is uh, the devil, shaitan. And uh, uh, the thing is that uh, shaitan has been described as an angel or jinn who uh, disobeyed uh, Allah and then uh, he, uh, he asked Allah to give him time to, uh, to misguide humanity. Okay, and uh, I uh, can prove it from um, Quran and Hadith and every uh, uh, live or living facts that uh, Shaitan is nothing but uh, a capitalist system that guide us to all bad deeds. And this is today uh, what we are going to talk about, that uh, uh, um, Quran describes Shaitan as... Uh, the one who spread poverty among us and lead us to all bad deeds. Uh, and uh, there is nothing but a capitalist system that um, guide us to all bad deeds and spread poverty among us. And uh, uh, your, your uh, brother Said, okay, you are from uh, Iran as I am also from Iran. And uh, I have uh, been talking to people that um, in the past regime, the Shah regime, in Iran, uh, people were doing bad deeds. Uh, bad deeds happened, and um, <clears throat> uh, what is it? Um, uh, as average salary was five hundred dollars a month, average salary, and uh, one dollar was seven Iranian tuma. And uh, we made a revolution for a better situation, and uh, a regime came to power called Republic, Islamic Republic of Iran. But of course, uh, uh, it was a devil regime. And this regime spread more poverty among uh, humanity, I mean, sorry, among Iranian. And uh, uh, now 75% of Iranian people are living uh, below poverty line. And, uh, and uh, the crime and all bad deeds has increased a thousand times. Uh, that one dollar, uh, which was seven tuman, now is uh, uh, is uh, nearly thirty thousand tuman, and average salary is now around one hundred to seventy five dollars. So this regime spread poverty among people, as Quran described, and led people to more a thousand times more immorality. It doesn't mean that uh, uh, shaitan became stronger in my home country. It means that a more satanic system came to power. So Satan is uh, systems, not that angel. Do you, uh, do you agree with me, Said? Yes, sure. Uh, sorry, I had some kind of technical difficulties, so I just switched to my laptop. Now right. I'm, uh, I'm here. You heard, you heard what I said, that uh, in, in our home country, Iran, Mm -hmm. uh, last regime, they were doing bad deeds, every bad deeds happened, yeah. Shaitan mm -hmm. was there, and but because our salary was $500 a month, my father was getting that much money, $500 a month, and we could buy a house, we could buy a car and different things. But after this regime came to power, our salary has uh, decreased to $75 to $100 a month. And 75% of Iranian people living on below poverty line. And what happened? Uh, every bad deeds increased a thousand times. Okay. 
And uh, what happened, it, is, it doesn't mean that shaitan became more strong in Iran. It means that a more satanic system took the power. And as mm -hmm. Quran says, uh, Quran says, Satan spread poverty among you and lead you to immorality. Okay, so this regime spread poverty among Iranian people and led them to a thousand times more immorality. Only this fact should show everyone that Satan is system is not an angel. Okay, another fact is that farmers of Afghanistan they produce ninety percent of the world opium. Okay, because it gives them more money than uh, than potatoes and tomatoes. Okay, but in Sweden, where majority of people are atheists, farmers of Sweden they don't produce a single gram of uh, drug. Why? Because they are well off. The government take care of them. So it doesn't mean that Shaitan is, uh, can fool Afghan farmers more and cannot fool. Swedish farmers more. No, it is more satanic system in Afghanistan. People are more poor. So what is the real Satan is this capitalist system that allow 1% uh, of the world population increase $110 trillion wealth. It is 50% of the total capital of uh, the planet which belong to that 1%. And hundreds of millions of people, they live on $1 a day. Okay, mm -hmm. so they spread poverty among these one, uh, hundreds of millions of people and lead them to all bad deeds. <clears throat> even in every big cities, even small cities, I think, you have a more dangerous uh, areas, which is slam areas, than safer areas which is the more richer part of the, the city. Uh, uh, Said, which uh, city you come from in Iran? Uh, I was born in Mashhad, but I moved to Tehran right, when so, I was 18. Great. So you are familiar with Tehran. North, yes, Tehran, sir, yes, North Tehran was much safer than South Tehran because South Tehran, it was much, I mean, uh, people were uh, lower class. They were, their income was less. So it doesn't mean that North Tehran, Shaitan can, uh, doesn't visit or visit seldom and South Tehran, it visit more. So you have to understand true fact that Shaitan is the poverty, okay? The system that create this poverty. And uh, according to Quran, Shaitan's uh, uh, power is poverty. So if we remove poverty, he doesn't have any power. Because Quran says that he spread poverty among you and lead you to immorality. So if we take away his gun, his weapon, then he cannot guide us to immorality. So, and poverty is opposite to wealth. So if we get rid of this capitalist system, there will be no wealth, there will be no poverty. So everybody, and that's why in Islam, we stand towards Mecca every day, say, show me the right way. And what happens there is that once a lifetime, you have to go there and dress equal. Everybody is equal there and say to him that we accept it. And then we have to go and reject it. Uh, sorry, Etha is uh, trying to enter, but it says that uh, device not connected. I don't know um, uh, why. I want to... Yes, Sister Etta, yeah. Sister Etta, there is something wrong with your device. It says device not connected. I wish that Sister Etta uh, could join us too. But um, anyway, uh, yes, Sister Inga, uh, I don't know, you are, are you? Yes, yes, yes very good. You were telling me uh, last time that um, if uh, we remove the capitalism, still there will be <clears throat> pedophile, okay? But uh, I have to uh, explain this one for you, that there are three different uh, scenes, okay? According to my understanding. One scene is that, for example, animals, they also sin. <clears throat> Closest uh, um, creature to us, human, is chimpanzees. They also do bad deeds, okay? They rape, they do every bad deeds, they kill each other. But that's not shaitan. 
that fool them. It is their lack of knowledge. <clears throat> a two-year-old child, human child, is equal to uh, eta. Again, another you you enter from another one says device not connected. Sorry, sister. I don't know. Uh, please try. Uh, I don't know uh, what is the problem. Uh, I have two guests and they are connected without problem. Just your device says that uh, it's not connected. Anyway, I was saying that according to science, a human child, two-year human child, is equal to uh, a, a chimpanzee. The uh, his or her um, uh, what is it knowledge um, is equal to a chimpanzee. <clears throat> so if a two-year-old child do something bad. It doesn't mean that shaitan fooled that child, okay? It means that, like exactly like chimpanzees, that child didn't understand it. That's why we don't punish even children, because they don't understand it. So it doesn't mean that if a child grow 10, 12, 15, and do bad deeds, the child still understand that this is bad deed, okay? So it's not shaitan that fool that person. And, for example, that child becomes adult, 25, 30 years old, still might do bad deeds without understanding it. Like I was drinking alcohol myself and uh, before, and I was thinking that, yeah, okay, it's okay if I drink sometimes. But when I made my, my documentary movie, uh, it's the, called uh, The Forbidden Drink. So I, I got a lot of information and I realized that, no, this is bad, okay? I never smoked. So I realized that alcohol is bad even if you drink a little bit, okay? It's an intoxication that makes you, you know, uh, kills your brain cells and then increase your, um, you know, um, uh, what is it, blood pressure and other things. Uh, so that's why I stopped totally, okay? So it didn't mean that uh, shaitan was fooling me. It was that I had lack of knowledge, okay? I didn't understand it. So when I understood it, I stopped it, okay? So this is one type of... Uh, Scene that people do, and uh, and that's uh, another one is when you are forced to. Uh, uh, Said knows that in Iran, in Iranian uh, uh, jail, uh, this ayatollah, this uh, satan satanic system, they were torturing political prisoners so long that these political prisoners, they were executing they 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 should execute their own friends they should torture their own friends you know said you have heard yeah that in jail yes. they were they were called tabab mm. <laughs> they were torturing them so much that these prisoners should cooperate with the government to get rid of this enormous torture they were even ready to uh, execute their own friends or other prisoners. So this is also is not about shaitan fool them. They were forced. It is impossible for some people to tolerate this this uh, enormous torture. So this is also another thing. Is not that uh, uh, shaitan is whispering in their head that do this, kill your friend, you know, torture your friend. You no. Know? So another uh, type of um, uh, type of um, scene which is. I say that it's connected directly to, to capitalism is when capitalism guide you. Like I said that uh, farmers of Afghanistan, they see that opium gives them more money than tomatoes and potatoes. If they want to sell a kilo of tomatoes and potatoes, they can sell it maximum 10 cents per kilo. They might not be able even to sell it, yes? But a kilo of uh, opium, they can sell it for hundreds of dollars and it is sure that they can sell it. doesn't get bad, okay? So what drives them to that is the money. That capitalist system that tells them that if you don't do that, you will be poor, okay? If you don't do that, you're, you cannot put food on your table. Or, uh, for example, there is a diamond uh, Said has that is cost $10 million. <laughs> I know that you don't have it, <laughs> but... I want to take that diamond. What drives me to that is that $10 million. If capitalism doesn't exist and that diamond costs zero dollar, it will be just like a crystal stone. So I'm not going to steal it. So what drives me to that bad deed is the system, the capitalist system, that value of that, that, that diamond, okay? So there are three types of bad deeds. And that pedophile, I'm not pedophile because 
I'm not raper because I grew up in a uh, family, in a place. That education that I got taught me that this is bad, okay? So that person didn't get that, get that uh, education. Something went, went wrong. That person was not born pedophile or a raper. Something in society, in um, in his family or whatever, guide him, taught him, or he has lack of knowledge uh, that he does it. So if we get rid of the system, according Quran, every bad deeds will disappear because these people will also get the same education, the same possibility like us to learn that these things are bad. In this, uh, for example, uh, uh, suicide is uh, also a bad deed, but some people do it because they are left alone, you know, they, they, the, the system doesn't take care of them, they, are, they don't have a, any aim in their life, they go and commit suicide, and this is also not because shaitan uh, do it, it's also uh, in, uh, some problems, in, for example, again in my home country, uh, you know, uh, Sai, that this, uh, this uh, suicide has increased also a lot because of the, the situation, because people are very poor. Some people, they kill their entire family, wife, children, and then they kill themselves because they don't afford this life anymore because it's too terrible. They don't want to kill just themselves because they don't want to see their children suffer later. Okay, or family, they become prostitutors. That's why they commit suicide, entire family. So, Inga, uh, if you have any question, I would uh, like to answer your question. I hope that uh, you have understood it so far that uh, shaitan is nothing but, uh, and then another thing is that I have to say that uh, according to Quran, one day we get rid of shaitan, one day, this is a promise from God, okay, one day we will live in a world with absolute justice, absolute peace, okay? Uh, because uh, Allah promised us in Quran that, uh, I promise that one day the oppressed will rule and inherit the planet, okay? It is called Mustaz Afin in, uh, in Quran. Mustaz Afin means oppressed, okay? So if we analyze this, there is just two uh, categories level in Quran, Mustaz Afin and Mustaq Prim, oppressed and oppressor. So he promised that oppressed will rule and inherit the planet. So it means that that 1% that are ruling and, uh, you know, destroying the planet because they want to sell weapons, they want to, you know, become richer and richer. Just this uh, human trafficking is $150 billion a year industry for them okay just human trafficking 100 billion dollars but sorry 150 billion dollars i don't know if you have heard my dear sister Eta, i don't know uh, i would love to uh, have you in the show but uh, it says all the time device not connected i i, I will sh i would like to uh, take a snapshot and send it to her so that she knows that Uh, just a second, say. No worries. Sister, I send you the snapshot, uh, Sister Etta. Okay. Uh, what I was uh, saying that, uh, yes, this uh, oppressed, uh, yeah, I was saying that this 1% now are ruling the planet. Okay. But Allah promised us that one day that hundreds of millions of people who are oppressed today, they will rule and inherit the planet, okay? So it doesn't mean that they will become oppressor themselves, okay? It means that no oppressor and no oppressed anymore. So as long as this capitalist system exists, okay, there will always be oppressor because Khamenei, he want to become billionaire, okay? He didn't have a flat, Khamenei is now Iranian leader. He didn't have a flat before the revolution, now he is $200 billion rich, okay? So that's why he oppressed people. So as long as this system exists and give these people opportunity to become rich by oppressing people, okay, by killing people, as long as this system exists, then there will be oppressed and oppressor. 
So we will get rid of this system one day. That's why we stand towards Mecca and prostrate to equality and say, show me the right way. He has shown us the right way 1400 years. We haven't understood it, okay? And then we have to go there once a lifetime and dress those equality, dress of equality, say to him seven times when we go around and say that I accept you, I accept you. And then we have to go and stone the opposite of equality, which was the symbol is shaitan, inequality, which is capitalist system, stone it and say, now I will reject you. I don't want you, okay? And then we have to sacrifice for this, for this, for this equality, because in that, in this uh, capitalist system, okay, we can have Ferrari, we can have Lamborghini, if we have money, we can have palace, we, have, we can have private jets, okay? But in that life, we cannot have it because we cannot produce for everybody Lamborghini or Ferrari. So we have to sacrifice this luxury life, okay? And we have to accept a normal life for everyone, equal, a normal life, okay? That we have everything we need, everything we need, and we have to sacrifice. So people sacrifice, to say that 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 sacrifice means they're the the precious one, okay, the most important part of the life. They are ready to sacrifice even that for this equal war. That no child goes hungry. Our people in Iran are not going to be killed by a bunch of mullahs who want to become richer and richer. Or uh, Assad bomb people just because he want to. Uh, stay in power and live in that, I don't know, palace forever, uh, entire life and uh, everywhere else, okay? So uh, this is uh, what uh, Allah wants us to, to do, to spread this great message, okay? And follow it and fight for it. And uh, that's the most important part of Islam, okay? So if you have... Uh, Sister Inga, you have any question or? Um, all right, uh, let me see. Sister Eta has written. Sorry, I was by mistake. I blocked my uh, cam and sound. Please let join. Uh, let me join. But still, sister, I'm here. Still says that it says device not connected, sister Eta. I still see. I will uh, remove you and then you can enter again. Kick. Okay. Or no. Uh, maybe you can uh, leave yourself because uh, it was written. This is my first time uh, Said, uh, on StreamYard. Okay. Okay. Yes, yeah, so it's my first time to be here. Yeah. All right. This is my first time. Uh, okay. Yes. Yeah, so you went yourself because uh, it was uh, three options. Uh, block and then kick out. So I was thinking if I kick out, then <laughs> maybe she cannot enter again. So let her leave herself and then enter again. Do you have any questions, Said? No, uh, no, it was very fruitful and very informative. I am really enjoying. But very, I'm very good. Forward. Yes, uh, actually, I um, I have been thinking about this uh, and then uh, you know uh, researching uh, many years. Okay, and so Sister Inga went, uh, I wish that she um, asked me a question. Okay, Inga is back again. Sister? Yeah, hello. Yeah, assalamu alaikum, hello. Yeah, hey, please uh, ask a question, I would love to answer them. Yeah, well, one thing which came to my mind is like, do you have any example of any type of uh, Muslim society throughout history? where you see that they have been close to aiming for that kind of um, system which you would prefer to see? Yes, yes, sister. Um, I don't know right now how to share screen um, because as I said, this is my first time, but I myself uh, follow uh, an organization, okay? Uh, that uh, they are Iranian organization. They believe in this system and uh, they uh, try to, to bring this uh, system to the world, okay? And unfortunately, um, they are, um, you know, they have been uh, destroyed uh, somehow by, 
I mean, uh, Iranian regime has tried to destroy them, and unfortunately, even USA, UK tried to destroy them. Um, and uh, but they are now in uh, Alhamdulillah, they are safe. But uh, they are trying to to bring this uh, system. But they live together. For example, there are thousands, and they live together, and they uh, they work day and night. Uh, in nearly uh, 40 years, they have been fighting against the Iranian regime and they don't get a single dollar for what they do, okay? So they are trying to do it, and um, uh, in their own city, it's a small city, but in their own city, this system exists, and they don't get any pay, they, they sacrifice everything, they sacrifice even their lives, okay, for, for uh, freedom uh, for Iranian people. So uh, that it hasn't happened yet doesn't mean that, um, what is it? Uh, it is wrong. It is just too early. It was too early thousands of years ago, and it is maybe even too early today. Okay, but we are learning it. We are. Uh, uh, I mean, uh, Allah Subhanahu wa Taala waited billions of years for that uh, that society to happen. Thousands of years, He sent uh, you know prophets. Uh, one by one and give us a little information a little more a little more so so he has been trying to guide us to that that war and just that it hasn't happened it doesn't mean that uh, it is wrong or it will never happen so we are learning and we are growing but you said that there's many thousand people living in a community like that yes yes uh, i said that, but that yeah. is in iran uh, no, they are, if they are in Iran, they will get killed, all of them. <laughs> no, they, are, they were in Iraq, and the uh, USA and UK bombed them. They tried to destroy them, okay? It is a political uh, thing that uh, uh, we better not enter it yet. But anyway, they tried to destroy them. And they are men and women all together fighting, and they, uh, they are all equal. Men and women are absolutely equal. M women are most leaders are women. And men, uh, you know, lift up women in that uh, organization and that city. So and, uh, now they are in Albania. Okay. They are fighting Iranian regime. And uh, unfortunately, uh, the world, they don't want yet to see a democratic uh, change in Iran. Okay. That's why they try to save Iranian regime and uh, keep them in power. That's an that's unfortunate um, you know, problem that that one percent still they want to kill people to become richer and richer, because Iranian regime gives them this opportunity to to sell billions of dollars weapons uh, to Gulf countries in the Middle East. So they don't want to get rid of this conflict there in the Middle East. I think uh, it would be it would be good to, you know, like. Because if, if something like that already exists and they are practicing it because because of their religion, if, yes. if I understood right, yes, it would be interesting to know more about about those people. And yes, I will, yeah, I will send you a link, uh, inshallah. Mm -hmm. yeah, I will send. And also, you just it would exemplify what you are talking about in a in, because now when you are expressing those ideas, you talk as one individual living in Sweden who is not practicing this in your daily life. So it's okay. much more impactful to hear someone who's actually concretely uh, putting that into action in their everyday life. Uh, I would, as, as I said, uh, this is my first time and I saw that um, uh, in one stream they were showing how to share, <clears throat> you know, let me, uh, let me find the link and then send you uh, the link fast maybe at least you can watch it yourself uh, uh, let me find videos for you So it's a uh, some commercial.
Okay, I got the link. Sister, are you there? I will just put it on in a private chat. I don't know if it is. Did you get the link? Yeah, I know, I understand, yes. All right, I'm going on join already. Oh, this is Sister Eta is writing something in the chat. I would, I wish that she could join. Uh, let me see, I shall know. comment. All right, okay. I see some um, some people uh, in um, chat, uh, Facebook. They are writing. They join. Salam alaikum, brother. I'm here. Okay, now. Um, 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 Imam Isaac has written: Satan in the Garden of Eden was originally a specific jinn named Iblis. The jinn were never angels. Okay, uh, I hope that brother uh, I Imam Isa, I hope that you could join us and uh, uh, you know discuss with me this. Uh, this uh, I know uh, the story in Quran that he he was jinn and so on. I was explaining here long time that uh, uh, he's, he's not a creation of um, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. It is just a system. He was trying to, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala was trying to, uh, um, he was trying to warn us from a force that guide us to all bad deeds. Okay? So, and I gave you living examples uh, great, Said is back. Yes, sir. Is <laughs> Thank you. I just, uh, yeah, I went yeah, offline. No, no I problem. Came <coughs> yeah, the, the, uh, somebody, uh, a brother in, on Facebook has written that, uh, you know, this story of um, Iblis and so on in, in Quran, and I uh, explained for him that I gave you the facts, all right, that Satan is not just a system. I gave you the, the living fact that from my home country that uh, previous regime was much less satanic than the present regime. And uh, Said is also, I've never met him. He's also Iranian and he also can, uh, you know, uh, say that uh, you know, give you the information that how this regime spread poverty among people according to Quran and led people to a thousand times more immorality than uh, it was in the past. Okay? So it, it doesn't mean that uh, this Iblis, this angel, visit Iran every second, I don't know, every day, and it doesn't visit Sweden, for example despite majority of people here are, are atheists. So how come that the same people, they are, they are doing um, uh, bad deeds a thousand times more than 42 years ago. It's not a million years ago. It's not 1,000 years ago. It's just 42 years ago. According to Quran, this satanic system, which is a, a bunch of mullahs, Mm -hmm. spread poverty among people a thousand times more, even more, more than a thousand times, because you, you can just check the the value of Iranian. Okay, great. Now, Sister, Salam Alaikum. Salam Alaikum. Salam Alaikum. 
Salam alaikum. Very good. Now you manage it. Very, <laughs> thank you very much. But I, please, I will take my time for Maghrib prayer. This minute, okay? Okay, no problem. Don't worry. Don't worry. If you I'm have any, for a minute. Ask. Sister, if you have any question, you, please ask me and then you can uh, go to your okay. prayer. Yes, I was saying to uh, the uh, Imam, uh, let me see, it's written, Imam, uh, Imam Isaac, yes, that, that it, in my home country, I, I explained that it doesn't mean that um, uh, Satan has become m more powerful or visit Iran much more than before. No, it means that uh, I gave you the example also that from the the value of our currency, which was one dollar was just seven two man, 42 years ago, and now it's nearly thirty thousand two man. And the average salary was five hundred dollars. Now it's less than hundred dollars. Forty two years later, with the, all this inflation and all these things, so so it means that a more satanic regime and system took the power, brother. I don't know if you don't understand this one. How can I explain for you? It was too early for uh, Allah to say 1400 years ago, talk about capitalism for people of 1400 years ago. They would not understand anything. So he left things for us in 21st century to understand it, to open it, okay? So I wish that you could come on online and uh, you could ask your question directly. Uh, Brother Gary, uh, Gary Pierce asked, are you linking capitalism and <clears throat> avarik to shaitan? I don't know what is avaris, but capitalism, I don't link capitalism to shaitan. Okay. Shaitan is capitalism, brother. Uh, okay. It is not, they are not two different things. It is one. Shaitan is the capitalism. If you get rid of the sh capitalism, Shaitan will not exist anymore. Starting from Allah as the only reality, how does the heresy of creation unfold? I, don't understand. I wish that you could uh, join us, Brother Gary, and ask your question directly. <clears throat> Sister Inga or Said, I don't know. Yes. Yes. Okay, you are online still. Okay, great. You yeah. have any questions, Said? Yeah, I think um, basically I'm uh, against uh, uh, any form of capitalism and this extreme materialism. And yes. uh, because we, we are seeing a militarized capitalism nowadays, which is based on a no liberalism. And it is kind of uh, gives this power to banking sectors and corporations to control the government. And uh, most of the governments are kind of under the control and under the influence of uh, these banks and, and capitalist uh, hubs. But uh, my question is about uh, Iran and the form of the capitalism that is now going on in Iran, because we see that in Iran, we uh, have capitalism in its very unethical <laughs> and kind of extreme form. Yeah, yeah. And don't think so, because, uh, because there is a high rate of poverty. And if you see, there are like, uh, there are so many labor tribes, and you see prostitution everywhere. And so, you see. Uh, how many thousand times more than uh, Shah regime? Tens of thousand times more. Yeah, exactly. during Shah, there was just maybe a few thousand prostitutes uh, in entire Iran, but now yeah. there are there are hundreds of thousands of them. Unfortunately, even married women are now prostituting. Yes. Yeah. And actually, uh, I've, I've received some statistics about labor childs. I mean, these children who are working in the streets and those yeah. children who have to go to school and they, they don't have to be 
outside because they, they are going to face so many uh, dangers when they are not at the school and um, being exploited. And there is like maybe around 300,000 uh, labor childs are now working in Iran. That is very horrible statistics. Exactly, yes. Yeah, this actually, this, there are different forms of uh, capitalism, okay? Mm -hmm. As uh, the traditional one and uh, the modern one, okay? Mm -hmm. So uh, there is a clash between these two. That's why the West uh, put sanction on the uh, Iranian regime. They try to, uh, you know, that's why the, that President Khatami came to power, yeah? He was mm -hmm. saying that I will reform and so on. So they want that this regime, uh, you know, somehow uh, becomes more like Shah's capitalism. Shah's capitalism was, uh, you know, going towards uh, modern capitalism. And mm -hmm. in reality, uh, um, British, they were not satisfied with that. And that's why they were opposing Shah. Mm -hmm. I don't know if you have read that one. These mullahs that they were opposing uh, Shah, they were mm -hmm. doing because of uh, UK, um, I mean, yes, United Kingdom. Okay, mm -hmm. we know that we call them British mullahs. Yeah. Because, <laughs> yes, because Mul uh, UK was uh, uh, guiding them and uh, making them to oppose Shah because Shah was taking distance from uh, UK capitalism, which was feudalism, towards U US capitalism, which was the modern, uh, what is it, capitalism. Uh -huh. So that's why there was a clash between the mullahs and, uh, and uh, the, you know, this bazaar, the mm -hmm. traditional capitalism also, bazaar also, they, they were against mm -hmm. Shah because he was uh, somehow uh, destroying their 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 business, okay, by mm -hmm. this modern capitalism. So that's why um, there are two different, but they are both capitalism, okay. Mm -hmm. Both of them they gain money, and for that they fool people, they kill people, and so on. Yes, thank you. Yeah, thank you very much. Mm -hmm. As I don't know, Sister Inga still is uh, gone. Sister Etta, I don't know if she's back or not. I will check if... I'm here. I'm back. I'm back. I'm yeah, back. Right. Yes, please, Sister Etta, can you tell me uh, what do you think about this uh, stream? And do you have any question? I would love to answer you, inshallah. I know for me, it is a new idea that I know that your idea about Satan is identical to capitalism. It has been a long time. I know. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, what what did make you think like that? The Satan is capitalism. I guess yes. the Satan is also also yes. in poverty, not in only in capitalism. So once again, the second question. Once again, I I I think that Satan is also in poverty. Poverty. Okay. Yeah, poverty. I understand, but but I said that. Uh, uh, poverty exists because of capitalism system. Yeah, if capitalism doesn't yeah. exist, poverty will not exist. Okay, so 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 in so your when, opinion, so, so, sorry once again. Capi okay, capitalism is nowadays is a, a cover all over the world. Yeah. Okay. I mean, yeah. capitalism is Satan, Satan. Okay. Yeah, yeah, I know, but uh, but what can we say? Capitalism, capitalism nowadays cover all over the world. Am I right? Uh, co cover, yes, cover. You mean cover the, the, all the world, yeah? Yeah. yeah. So what yes. can we do about that? Well, what can we do? do we ah, great. Yes, yes, yeah. sister. Is uh, to spread this uh, great message that what is the right way? Every day we are saying, yeah, what that means. It means that Surat al mustaqim is those dress of Ahram, the equal equality, okay, which we go there and experience it, okay. So equality is the right way. Ehtina Surat al mustaqim Ehtina, I mean, Surat al mustaqim is the capitalist system which I explained, okay, that make us do all bad deeds. So the right way is opposite to it. Okay, which is that equality we prostrate to it. Okay, so Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala wants us to live in that equal world. And what we can do is to spread this, everybody should understand it. And uh, I don't know how to, uh, I mean, this is we are eight billion people. First, we have to know the source of the problems, 
and then we have to uh, discuss with, with each other to go. It's not over a night that we just get rid of capitalism. No, it takes time, okay? Slowly, slowly. Like in Sweden, we have this uh, system called welfare system or social democracy. And they take more tax from the rich and give it to the poor, okay? So they bring the gap closer. And that's why in Scandinavia, for example, we have much better uh, life standard than many other countries in the world. So, so to bring the gap closer, 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 slowly, slowly, until the gap is totally gone. So what we can do is this, to spread this message and um, <clears throat> what is it? And invite everybody to accept it that we do, uh, as we do there uh, in, in Mecca, we say to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, I accept it, I accept it. So everybody accepted and everybody see that this is the source of all our problems and we have to get rid of it. And then we are 8 billion people who will manage to think how to get rid of it. And I, I believe that it has to be slowly, slowly, not suddenly overnight. It's impossible. Yes. Of course, I agree that everything needs process. Yes, uh, exactly. Especially in your country, are you saying that uh, socialism is better than capitalism? Socialism. Uh, yeah, actually, I uh, Sweden. yeah, I don't call it socialism. They call it social because socialism is now more uh, related to Marxism and Marxism fail. I mean, under the name of Marxism, they did a lot of bad deeds, okay, uh, killed people. So it's a negative uh, impression when you say socialism. Let's say equality, okay, let's call it equality. I call it Islam in reality. <clears throat> so this system, I said that they make the, they made the gap closer, okay, they, not totally flat, but they make it closer and it became more human uh, system than many other countries in the world that is pure capitalism, okay? I don't know, I think the, uh, Indonesia is the same, pure capitalism, okay? You don't have this welfare system there. So that's why uh, in, in this country, crime and everything is much less than those countries that is pure capitalism. So the more you bring it, uh, you remove the gap, the more uh, human um, system becomes. Okay, thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. Any other question uh, from the guests? Let me check Facebook if anybody has. <clears throat> Unfortunately, nobody else has written. Sister Inga, uh, are you there? Yeah. Did you watch that or? All right, very good, yeah. Please, yeah. Um, did you get that, uh, uh, you know, that um, when I told you about, you know, pedophile and rape and all these things, that all the source, when we, when we say that the source is this, and we understand, locate the shaitan, okay? Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, it is the shaitan who guides you to all bad deeds, okay? The source, he says that sh <coughs> shaitan guides you to immorality, <coughs> to darkness, and Allah guides you to light. So if we locate, first we understand and be sure 100% that the source is this capital system. Shaitan is the capital system. Then it means that when we get rid of it, we get rid of all bad deeds, rape, prostitution, all bad deeds. So even mm -hmm. that pedoph pedophilia and then, uh, you know, rape, all this will disappear autom automatically because like, like you have a, uh, not you, uh, inshallah, but a person has a cancer, okay, then you get uh, everywhere in that person's body is pain. So when you get rid of that cancer, which is the source, all pain will disappear. It's not that uh, it will be, will st still stay there. And this is a promise from Allah SWT that one day we get rid of uh, the source. And I, I can give you facts, okay, if you would like to. Would you like to have the facts from Quran? Sister Inga. Okay. I'm... Yes. No problem. Yeah, please ask. Yes. Like
No, no. Yeah, okay, uh, sister, I didn't say that this is an ideal system, okay? I said it's a better system than pure capitalism, okay? It, uh, I mean, I know that, for example, USA also, uh, you know, ex ex exploit other countries and they take other people's wealth and bring it to USA, but they don't share it, um, you know, that wealth, they don't share it um, like in Sweden they share it, okay? And of course, uh, as I said, st steel is capitalism here, okay? It's a better form of capitalism. But, uh, I mean, it's, I said that they have brought the gap closer to each other to, to uh, try to remove that gap a little bit, not uh, totally, okay, unfortunately. But it is still capitalist system, and in this capitalist system, those people, you know, uh, Unfortunately, they because it is uh, just a blind uh, how 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 to say it? no aim. Okay, they don't live for 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 um, a belief. If they live in this system, they just uh, uh, they don't follow a, a belief. As I showed you that uh, example of that city, they believe in something. All right, <clears throat> and that's why they put everything. So it is a matter of making people to believe that you have to sacrifice for, for that equality because your Lord demand, okay? In that society, the more you work, the more uh, rewards you get from uh, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, okay? So people will start to work because they want to get reward for their next life. They will not just sit home. If you sit home, you don't get any reward, okay? And uh, it is a sin to sit home and do nothing. But today, uh, I mean, people might think that they, okay, they they use uh, the the system, the, I don't know how they, they think, but whatever it is, uh, they don't live for, for a belief, they just live uh, for, for themselves. So uh, um, it is not an ideal system, and I didn't say that it's an ideal system, but I said that it is better than pure capitalism. I don't know. Do you agree with me that it's better than pure capitalism or not? But like, like for example, I, I said that like Iran, Afghanistan, African countries, you know, crime, inhuman system is pure capitalism. Okay, there everything, every problem uh, goes. I mean. Here, at least, children, they have uh, something. When they go to school, they have food. They have, you know, families. They can take care of their children. Children, they don't get killed on the streets. And But in all those other countries, children are, are not safe. They don't get food. Or, for example, when I buy something for my children, I say, thanks, alhamdulillah, that I can buy them. But imagine that you live in a country that you cannot afford to buy food for your children so this is much more human system <clears throat> place to live especially for children than many other countries okay so i have a question because it is uh uh, according to what you said, uh, the uh, shaitan is in the system and it is in the capitalist uh, system, okay? But uh, uh, this capitalism system has so many disadvantages and uh, I can say like offsprings and uh, like outcomes, very negative outcomes, like extreme poverty and like child labor, like the ethical downfall, like- uh, Disadvantage you said or advantage? Uh, disadvantages of this uh, capitalism system. Yes. Uh, this negative impacts of this satanic uh, system. I yeah. mean, I just wanted to like, regardless of these outcomes that I said, 
like extreme poverty, inequality, and exploitation, and this child labor, pedophilia, uh, human trafficking, so many uh, negative things are, are going to happen as outcome of this capitalism. Uh, are there any other, I just want to know if uh, any other outcome crosses your mind as the negative outcomes of capitalism, which exactly Satan is there. Negative, you mean, negativity of this capitalism. Yes. Yes. I mean, uh, uh, say, look yourself that this capitalism destroyed almost the planet during First World War, Second World War, and has been stopping us from developing uh, a lot. Look at your our home country. If in 1953 uh, three, they didn't make a coup d'etat against our democratic prime minister, Dr. Mossadegh, okay, mm -hmm. Iran would be one of the best countries on the planet to live, okay? Mm -hmm. And you see that thousands of uh, Iranian brains move out from the country. They could create, they could, we could, uh, you know, uh, perhaps, uh, you know, get uh, this cure for cancer maybe until mm -hmm. by now. If we had a, you know, if, if we would be another Japan and we would distribute uh, the world with uh, a, a lot of good things. But now, yeah. unfortunately, capitalism has made it so that I Iran is the world uh, leading export of terrorism and war and problems, okay? Mm -hmm. So capitalism has stopped us from developing faster, that mm -hmm. fast that we should, like our home country, instead we develop, we have gone back mm -hmm. hundreds of years, okay? So this is one of those examples and, uh, you know, trying to push each other, like that even uh, we don't uh, try to share information with each other. We try to compete, you know. If we could share information with each other, we could maybe faster get this uh, vaccine for, for COVID-19 just because they keep it for themselves because they want to, you know, they want to <clears throat> sell the vaccine themselves. That's why they, if they, they shared it with each other, we would get the vaccine faster because they wouldn't go and, you know, uh, to try that way, which fail for China or for, I don't know, for that factory or that company, all right? Mm -hmm. So in this system, and we try to steal uh, information with, from each other, but we have to just share everything with each other. And uh, in order to uh, get our oil and um, other countries' oil in the Middle East, they try to support different dictators to stay in power and don't allow us to get democracy because democracy bring uh, you know development and then um, you know a lot of things we, the oil price might go up so they cannot sell weapons to us you know mm -hmm. that for example Obama they, he sold 275 billion dollars weapon mostly to 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 Middle East countries uh, and three times more than George W. Bush. And that's why he was trying to keep Iranian regime in power, help them. And he was even, you know, because he wanted conflict in, in the Middle East. So this capitalism has destroyed, not has destroyed a lot, has stopped us mm. to, to, from developing. Yeah, as I gave you the example, First World War, Second World War. Now look at Syria. Syria mm. has gone back, I don't know how many uh, years, has gone back. Uh, through this uh, civil war, just because somebody up there like Assad want to stay in power and become richer and richer. Mm -hmm. I don't know if you, you agree with me that capitalism is the source, the problem is the capitalism. If we get rid of this, then, uh, you know, countries like Iran would be, uh, you know, a paradise to live, not like me and you, we have to run from our home country to, to somewhere safer. Exactly. And, and you know how much of our energy goes. For example, my brother, he mm -hmm. came to Sweden 10 years ago. He was uh, a great uh, mathematician. Mm -hmm. And uh, he, was, uh, he was teaching thousands of students. And here he has come 10 years ago, he has come to Sweden, and he hasn't been able to teach a single student because of language. Okay? Mm -hmm. Because in his age, it's very difficult to, to learn Swedish like that so that he can go and teach 
uh, students because he's now 65. Mm -hmm. So if, if uh, he was in Iran, he would be more helpful uh, to humanity than he should move because of political problem move to Sweden. Exactly, because in Iran nowadays, I think it has the highest uh, number of brain drain in the world and yeah, yeah, yeah. intelligent and most of the uh, like competent people uh, who are like uh, very who have been very successful in their work or in their studies, they just move out to continue their work and studies and occupation outside. I yes. heard that I heard that um, I think 100 nurses move from Iran weekly or monthly now. Weekly, wow. yes, 100 nurses because you know, and then what where they come, they come to Turkey or somewhere, they get stuck there, and then even if they come to a safer country, mm -hmm. uh, like uh, European countries, it takes them years to, to uh, you know, to learn the language and start to work. So you see how much energy will disappear, how much they could help humanity. Yeah, exactly. And this capitalism, for example, uh, stop millions of people from distributing to humanity their 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 energy, their brains. Why? Yeah. They are because they are working in military, in mm -hmm. police force, for example. We don't need in a in a equal world. We don't need military. We don't need building weapons. We share everything with each other. We remove all these borders. We love one another. It is just this system which, uh, you know, encourages us to destroy each other, to exploit each other. Mm -hmm. So imagine that in that world, we will uh, develop much, much faster than we are developing today. Mm -hmm. Sister Etta, are you uh, still there? Do you have any question? Uh, Sister Inga disappeared. I don't know, uh, nobody else is online. Oh, sorry, I had to leave. Okay, I'm sister. still here, but I don't have any question right now. Sorry? Okay, you're I don't happy. have. Yeah. I don't have any question right now. I think your explanation is quite clear. Oh, very good. Thank you, sister. Thanks a lot. Said, you too? No, yes. Thank you very much. It was uh, very clear, and I really got very good and important messages. Very good. Say thank, thank you very much. So uh, as I see nobody else is here, we can maybe uh, finish the, the stream, inshallah, and then I will uh, do it again and again in the future. And I hope that other people join it and ask me questions, not uh, just one, one uh, <clears throat> comment on Facebook, like uh, this, um, like Imam Isaac was, uh, has, um, you know, written just a comment. I, I wish that he wasn't shy and he would come and talk to me more about that. All right, then, uh, thank you very much, Saeed, um, Sister Inga, and Sister Etta. Thank you very much. And then, uh, inshallah, um, I will do this stream more in the future as well. All thank right? you very much for the valuable uh, uh, lecture. I can say it was very uh, constructive. Actually, I have subscribed to your YouTube channel. So if I want to ask any question, I, I, how can I be in contact with you? Like through yes, you can. Uh, best is uh, through my Facebook, Mustafa uh -huh. Ali. Okay. 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 Uh, sure. I will. I will, I will put. Uh, the, I will put. Thank you very much for your lecture. Sorry, sorry, sister. Thank you very much for your lecture. Thank you very thank much. You, thank you. Thank you for your much. lecture. Thank you, sister. For your thank lesson. You. <laughs> yeah, thank you. Thank you, sister, for for. Uh, okay. for, alaikum. for alaikum. Thank you for uh, joining uh, this uh, lecture. Um, Said, I, I will uh, put the link to my Facebook. Okay. Okay. Thank you very much. Did you get it in uh, this private chat? Yes. Yes. Okay. Uh, yes, that's the the link, and uh, please, um, uh, yes. Send me a friend request, I will add you, and then my uh, YouTube as well, uh, inshallah. And if you have any question, uh, I would love to answer, okay? 
That would be great. Yeah, thank you very much. It was really nice thank to know you and have your acquaintance. Thank you very much. We will be in contact. Thank you. Thank you, Solomon. Thank you. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye. Bye bye, sister.